Do you ever feel like you're constantly being watched? Well then, if you have a dog, or two, it's probably true. A recent study done in 2010 by Paolo Mongilio, Gabriel Bono, Lucia Rangali, and Lieta Marielli has proven just that. Their goal was to see if dogs would give more attention to their owners as compared to a stranger that they had just met. Now to do this, they got 60 dogs, 34 of which were female and 26 which were male. These dogs were between the ages of 1.5 years and 13.5 years. Also, it was decided that in order for the test results to be accurate, the dogs had to have been living with their current owner for at least six months. To prove this theory of theirs, they did two different tests. Both tests were performed in a room where the dog was on one side of the room and there were two doors on the other. The owner and the stranger were to walk between these two doors several times and in the end they would end up behind one of the two doors. Then the dog would be released and it would go to one of the two doors, which may or may not have contained their owner. To show how much the dogs paid attention to each person, there were two cameras placed in the room one in front of the dog and one behind the dog. From there you could see who the dog watched the most. The results from the first test were as expected, and that was that the dog was constantly looking at their owner, while they only glanced at the stranger. The results can be seen here. The second test was performed exactly the same as the first test, except this time the owner and the stranger both wore bags over their heads so that the dog could not see their owner's face. This way the dog could not use sight to identify their owner. Compared to the first test, the results were a lot less. However, still, about 50% of the time, the dog would still go to the correct door. So there you have it. It goes to prove that dogs give more attention to their owners as compared to the stranger that they had just met. It also goes to show that dogs are constantly looking at the human face, which will explain why they respond so well to human emotions, such as happiness or sadness. It also explains why they have responded so well in other experiments done, such as the gaze and point. But then again, how far does our relationship with the dog actually go? Well, Further researchers need to find that out. Thank you.